There are over 700,000 new strokes every year in the United States, and stroke is the third leading cause of death, both in the U.S. and in the world. In Massachusetts, there are over 11,000 strokes every year. In 1996, a major breakthrough in stroke treatment came in the form of a medicine called Tissue Plasminogen Activator, or TPA. TPA only works when given within the first three hours of stroke symptoms. Beyond that time point, administering TPA can be dangerous and even lethal. Time is brain is an expression to remind everyone that from the first few minutes that blood flow or oxygen stops getting to the brain, brain cells start to die, millions of them. And the longer that goes on, the more severe the damage to the brain. So early treatment is critical. Soon after TPA was approved, Massachusetts General Hospital launched the Telestroke program so that smaller, more remote hospitals could access expert neurological assessment of patients with stroke-like symptoms. The Telestroke service that um, we have here at Jordan through our affiliation with Mass General Hospital has been really a great story to tell. Um, not only does it directly benefit our patients, um, but it has really help to improve our image in the community. Our increased communication with neuro, um, neurology specialists through the Telestroke service have helped us to streamline some processes within our own acute stroke protocol. The role we play in the community hospital is really to supplement what they're already doing for stroke. Rather than replace what's in a community hospital, we're there to augment what they can provide. The emergency room physician will first go in and evaluate a patient and if they feel that they are eligible to receive TPA for their stroke then they contact the on-call stroke fellow. Well, we don't have coverage particularly. We have actually um, one to two days a week I believe coverage for neurology services. So it, it does, it allows us for the emergent patients for us to get the consultation when we, um, we need to. The technology, consisting of a simple video audio conferencing setup, allows neurologists from Mass General Hospital or Brigham and Women's to work with ER doctors to examine stroke patients, discuss their test results, and interview families remotely. The Telestroke program is like bringing a neurologist to our department. We actually do the examination together using the video equipment. They can ask patients questions in real time. When you speak about affiliations, when you speak about technology, when you're able to speak about receiving Boston care close to home, patients, residents of the community can really identify with that. Beverly Sylvia was 51 years old when she experienced stroke-like symptoms and went to her local hospital which was 50 miles away from Boston. Using the Telestroke program, doctors determined she was a candidate for TPA. They were trying to get the exact time that I had the stroke because I guess that was crucial and finally, you know, got it pinpointed so that they knew, you know, I fell into that time zone. I was fortunate enough that I ended up at the right hospital with the, that had the medicine. Uh, to think of the outcome of, you know, I know what my father went through when, you know, uh, he was paralyzed on his right side, so, and then he couldn't talk right. So it's not something that you want to have happen to you. By making acute stroke care available in all these community hospitals across Massachusetts, we're really raising the standard of care for what is expected, even in a small community hospital, when a stroke patient comes through the doors of the emergency room. We're eager to help raise that standard across the country so that patients can have an expectation when they enter a hospital that that hospital will be ready for them and ready to provide whatever acute stroke care they need. The Telestroke program has yielded very positive results, and over a dozen participating hospitals are already seeing the many benefits this affiliation with MGH and the Brigham provides. Additionally, members of the program have access to Telestroke Grand Rounds. These sessions feature a mix of live video conferencing and online presentations covering critical topics in acute stroke care. I do believe that the Telestroke service really has helped South Coast support our goal and our mission of, of improving the lives of the community that we serve and, and they really have helped to enhance our primary stroke service. 
we would usually give about four doses of TPA in about four years. In our first year with the Telestroke pro program with Mass General, we gave TPA 10 times. So you can see that we markedly improved our ability to get that needed medication to stroke patients in a timely fashion. The expenses associated with this affiliation um, I think are very reasonable and when you compare that to the benefits, the benefits to this hospital, the benefits to our patients, the benefits to the entire community, um, you, you cannot put a price tag on that. High quality stroke care is all about teamwork. You need to bring together all the different doctors and the patient and the family and the technology to be successful.